Hello everyone and welcome to another Friday night at the Art House Studio. My name is Karen Ellis and I am having some technical difficulties here tonight so hopefully we will get through the broadcast and uh, the recording will be as seamless as we can. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to be working on a 5x7 canvas panel. Here's the panel that I'm working on. And I am using a webcam today and this is as zoomed as I can get it. So I will be periodically pulling uh, the canvas panel up to the camera so that you can see, but hopefully we'll be able to work with that. Um, people are saying they're loving the waves. I ha was uh, trying to situate the webcam as best as I could earlier and, okay, and, and the camera angle was going like this. It was waving, you know? Oh well, just grab yourself a little glass of something and we'll be fine. <laughs> all good. So Valentine's Day is around the corner and I thought that I would uh, do a little something here. I had some wood hearts. These wood hearts are from Harmony. Um, I got these at uh, Crop Fest uh, last year and um, I have played with them but I'm thinking that I might use them again and uh, maybe do a little canvas here uh, for Valentine's perhaps. I have it in my head that I'm going to put some of these wood panels down, but I don't want them to be so bold. I want them to be like a, uh, a textured piece on there. So I think I'm going to take some uh, tissue, maybe some kanji paper I have here, some Japanese paper, or I don't know. I'm going to embed it, so I'm going to put tissue over top of it. And instead of like a molding paste texture, I'm going to have the wood underneath. So I think that's what I'm going to do there. Um, just in case I have an issue, I'm having an issue with the chat on the other side. I'm going to put the chat on this little computer, just so that I can. Yeah, see, I was missing a lot here. There we go. Will I use just so possibly, very possibly? I'm just going to try to figure out what I'm going to do first of all. But because I know for a fact that I want to put down these wood pieces. And I didn't know that was the configuration. I just, I'm just going to go with it. That looks about right. <laughs> I'm going to take some heavy gel here, a little, little uh, palette knife. This is some um, super heavy gel. This is the Liquitex version. Okay. And just because this is a heavy piece, this is a little piece of wood, and you really want to have a nice adhesion on it. So I like uh, using heavy gloss gels when I'm doing stuff like this it will dry clear. It will dry glossy but you know what whatever I'm going to be covering it up anyway. They do have a super heavy mat as well. It's all good to embed. Use the gesso to embed? Yeah you could. But I'm going to put tissue paper over it. See what that, ha what that does. It's the only thing I really think I want to do. I have some stamps here and I have some um, um, what else do I have here? Of course I have my paint and I have some I have some uh, drywall tape here. I just I just put a bunch of stuff on my table and said, okay Karen, go. <laughs> Use this. Alright, so other than that, I don't have a plan and we'll just see where it takes me. Okay, um, perhaps I will put a little bit of this down first. I don't know what it'll do. Might not do anything. This uh, drywall tape. It's all good. I'll probably put some over top of it later as well, but we'll see. I'm not sure if the tissue paper will be thin enough that it'll get in the grooves of that, but hey, it's an experiment, right? There we go. Do, do, do. So what? Everybody had a good week? I hope you have. Stayed warm. Out of the ditch. <laughs> like you're driving. <laughs> it's been pretty nasty all over this continent. What's it been like in the UK, girls? Have you had polar vortex weather like we've been having? Hey, Miss Sherry, how you doing? Look, Sherry, Valentine's just for you. Can't imagine why. 
So I'm just going to collage this up. I also have on my desk here, I have some uh, some uh, lace and some buttons. and I don't know, we'll just kind of go with it. It's been wet in the UK, Karma. Yeah, at least it's not cold, you're right. <coughs> So, see those wood pieces are stuck on there really well now. Alright, so I've got some, uh, <laughs> I heart you too, baby. <laughs> so I've put some of that uh, uh, drywall tape just all along that 5x7 canvas panel. And I attached the wood pieces with the super heavy gloss gel. And now, I don't know, remember I said I had tissue? I have... I have tissue tissue and I can paint it, but I also have some of this uh, uh, kanji tissue. But I'm going to paint it anyway. I think maybe I'll accent with the chiagami. So I'll take some of this. This is just like regular tissue tissue. Why not? And I'm going to put it on with some... PPA, I think. That would be good. I'll just put some PPA on my craft mat here. And I think before I get, I think I'm just going to do a nice thick layer of PPA all the way around. Now, PPA, again, for those of you who are new to me, I use PPA a lot. It's a soft gel by US Art Quest. I'll show you the container. I love it. So let's put it on. And I'm just wanting to use the tissue just to kind of go over it. Kind of embed the wood in there a little. Getting my brushes right around the uh, wood piece. P-P-A, not P-P, honestly. <laughs> Hold on. P-P-A, not from U.S. Heart Quest. Yes, I sell the paper. I have some of the kanji paper here. Absolutely. I do. I, I, I stock my store with uh, Japanese papers. I'll use some chiagami papers here, too. You know, the, the really nice Japanese paper you use for origami, I have some of them here too. I had the company cut them into 12 by 12 pieces to make it easier for us people who work in small and for scrapbookers and whoever else, you know, card makers. It's all good. I'm not really caring. It doesn't have to be straight down. <laughs> you thought you meant PPA? Honestly, <laughs> I may be Canadian, but <laughs> you're killing me here. You're killing me. So I'm just going to use the brush and just kind of brayer that in there. Brayer it. Burnish it. That's the word I'm looking for. Taking it off the edges. There we go. I'm going to put a little bit more on my on my palette. A true Canadian. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so is Wendy, and she knows better. <laughs> on <laughs> oh, my goodness. There we are. Okay. So that was the extent of my plan. <laughs> the rest <laughs> will be an experiment together. How's that? I will, I'm going to add some more tissue. Keep building it. Because I will eventually... It's the Friday Night Comedy team. <laughs> hey, gotta like that, eh? 
I had to throw that in. Just for you all. I do love the PPA because it, it, it was formulated, I believe, um, specifically for um, delicate papers like tissue. This for napkin collage was used a lot for. It's great because it's not a, it's not sticky. It's a nice soft gel that adheres beautifully, but it's not um, it's not sticky, sticky, sticky. I want some bubbles. I'm going to show you because I want some texture showing. Show you in a minute. I'm almost done because I know this is white on white and it's got to be difficult to see on that camera. Do 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 do. All right. Can you see the little wrinkles and dimples and lines and stuff that the tissue paper has made? I like it. A little bit more around the hearts, though. And then I'm going to dry it. The Friday night. <laughs> Love the laughs. Keep them coming. <laughs> All right, Terry. You got it. <laughs> Put some on here. Alrighty, all the way around the heart. It's a ring around the heart today. Ding, 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 ding. And I'm just going to fold these ends over, glue them down. These ends over again and glue them down. thinking I should probably get out some gilding too as I'm looking at this. Hmm, that might be fun. All right, I think that's enough tissue. Take the edge off here. I'll stick it down just for the heck of it. Folding up the edges just to make it a little neater. No comment, Miss Sherry. There we go. Alrighty. Just gonna get a baby wipe here. Clean off my space a little bit. And then dry this uh, tissue. Shouldn't take too long to dry. There we go. Are you heading out night or good afternoon? <laughs> it was good to see you, Tam. Hope you have a great one, Tammy. <laughs> Sherry East. Oof, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> oh, Tammy, when you get back here, I'm just reading what you wrote. You say you're coming into Ontario. Um, when you do, give me a shout. I'd love to see you, kiddo. All right. Oh, somebody's coming in. Hopefully, it's some people. Uh oh, they won't know. Hello. Very well. I just want to let you know I am broadcasting live right now on the internet, so they can't hear see you, but they can hear you. Okay. <laughs> No, they won't swear. They're not going to swear. It's all safe. <laughs> Welcome. If you have any questions, feel free to interrupt me, though, okay? All right. Okay. Yeah, I know, Sherry. I apologize. Shouldn't have let it slip. <laughs> You need an alter ego, I guess, now. <laughs> it's actually drawing beautifully. <laughs> I 
think I might actually want to put a little bit more tissue. I am really, I'm going to show you. I'm really liking this bottom heart. See how it's kind of moving around and I love the, but it's a little bit more formed here. I think I might want to add a little bit more. <laughs> she has to wear your cape now. Oh my gosh. She's Magneto. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Sherry, what have we started? <laughs> Yeah, I really like that. Um, it's almost like it's the effect I wanted. Like it's coming out of the paper. Just needed a little bit more layer. Perhaps I could use the uh, paper towel. Maybe I'll do a strip of paper towel on it. I do have some of it here. <laughs> oh, you found the manga book. <laughs> do you do art lessons too? Um, y depending on the art lesson, yes. So, I'm just wondering, no, my daughter just loves art, she's in grade 9. Awesome. And, um, yeah, I just, she just loves, um, yeah, that type of stuff, and I just wonder, do you do that as well? Absolutely. I do have a list of uh, workshops that are on my website, and uh, different classes will be coming up and will be posted on there as well. Um, I don't teach like a fine art teacher would teach, like I don't teach traditional drawing skills or yeah. um, that sort of thing. Um, we're base we and the girls here who are watching and the men because I have men that watch yeah. <laughs> um, will tell you that we uh, we're very organic in, in what, how we create. So it's about yeah. the product and learning about what's available and how to use it and then you express yourself through it. Oh yeah. And uh, yeah, I love it. It's my it's awesome. So in what age group is that? Um, I cater mainly to adults, but that's not a problem yeah. at all. I just don't do children's classes. Yeah. So, and I know I'm saying this the way I'm saying it because it's being recorded. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if anybody's listening and wanting to know, that's the reason. So, yeah, teenagers like high school students are welcome to join the ladies and gentlemen and whoever comes in to take yeah. the classes. And I work them by um, uh, like when painting or drawing? Absolutely. Or, or is it a bit of everything? A little bit of everything. I have a painting class in here tomorrow, for example, which is why the easels are out. And um, they'll come in and, and it's a uh, holistic, like, um, I call it my release class. It's, it's painting what you're feeling, basically, is oh. what we're going to be doing. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah. Now, can you pay for class, or how does that work? Yeah, I don't do series work. It's all it's all class based, so it's yeah. all within uh, like an afternoon or a day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then what um, hours is that for instance, that class? Well, how that particular one is six hour class, yeah. but um, uh, most of my classes are around the three to four mar hour mark, yeah. and they run the gambit. I'll I'll get you my card, and you can take a look at what's there, and then we can and yeah. give me a shout. And I don't I I don't set times per se for my classes. When people call and book a class, I'll post it on uh, my website or blog, and uh, people are welcome to join that. Yeah. Um, or you set up your own time with me. So that's yeah. what we do. So even um, Christy has a grandma that um, she's Portuguese and she loves drawing too. I mm -hmm. wonder if I could set up a time where they do Oh yeah, absolutely. Stuff. Oh, absolutely. And then what would it be for a couple hours type thing? It depends on, yeah, sure. It depends on the class they want to do when, and what materials are involved. Yeah. And yeah. you tell me how much it costs. Yeah. So there you go, everybody. You got an, you got an idea of what I do here in the studio <laughs> and how my classes run. <laughs> I don't know if we ever really talked about it in that detail here before. <laughs> there you go. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, so I'm liking this better. See how it's kind of coming out of the paper more? I like that better. You want? You can see if you want. So for those of you who are just tuning in, this is um, a little, little canvas board that I put some wood hearts on. Here's my wood hearts and some drywall tape and then put tissue paper all around it with uh, some medium, some PPA, which is a soft gel. So it kind of looks like it's coming through, and now we're going to paint it. 
add it and stamp on it and maybe gild it and who the heck knows what we'll do with it. <laughs> All right. Yes, nice texture. I like it too. And Karen is <laughs> Yes, I guess I am. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I really like that. Okay, so I'm just trying to decide what I want to... I'm thinking I'm going to use the fluid acrylics as well. I'm thinking... What? What am I thinking? I love this green pearl. I'm thinking maybe I'll have a nice background with that, the green pearl. And this is also from US Art Quest. And... Add some, maybe some white satin so it'll be shiny. I'll mix it with the green, make it a little softer. And what do I want to do? Maybe a little bit of touchy blue. Might as well go blue pearl. There you go. Thanks, Robin. Robin says I have a great art house. It's very welcoming. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to a little bit of green paint and here's the blue pearl I'm gonna mix it right on the canvas Sherry don't laugh and I'm going to there's a splattering of the white satin more like a plopping but whatever and just take my wash brush it's a wet wash brush and just kind of blending it together I always like to blend my uh, colors together. I'll pick like three or so. There you go. You see that? There we are. <laughs> Cheryl says, if the art house had a shower, I might move in. <laughs> yes. Sometimes I feel like I need a shower here. <laughs> Cheryl, you're welcome to live here. <laughs> there we go. All right. <laughs> Which ones is she looking at? Uh, yeah. Sure. So let's say that. I'm just going to dry this girl. Let's say that you want to come in on Monday. Are you open Monday? I'm not. I'm closed Sunday, Monday. Okay. So let's say she wanted to come in. Again, it depends on what they want to do, what they're bringing, what so I'm including. Let's say this thing, what you're doing. Right yeah. So, there's this, so you're saying they can, what do you call it, paint whatever they yeah. want to? Yeah. Okay, so if you want to have a thing like that for a couple hours, yeah. what does that do? Um, I have a smaller version, it's called Painting with Stencils and Masks, yeah. and you can do that in about two and a half hours, and it's about 45. Yeah, and that includes the material. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, so that's good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So that's about two and a half hours, and it's just a smaller canvas. Okay, I have to say, girls, and guys who are watching, um, I'm really liking this. The uh, pearl of that paint is looking like this is very, it's almost gilded looking. You think, see that? I'm kind of liking that. Can you see that with the tissue paper underneath there? I'm really liking it. And I wasn't sure, but I'm really glad that I added the, uh, the drywall tape before I painted and did the uh, tissue because you can really see it under there. It's kind of cool. Dana, um, Dana says here, she couldn't imagine selling art supplies and not breaking into them all. Trust me, I have. <laughs> I have a set pretty much of everything here. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Yes, Karma, I agree. The tape's showing up a lot more than I'm expecting to. Glittery hearts. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Okay, so now, oop, that was wet. That's okay. 
I'm going to end up painting over it again. <coughs> so now what do I want to do? I do want to add some um, stamp. I have some... Um, this is a Wendy Becky stamp that uh, from uh, Stampers Anonymous a while back. Some wildflowers. Uh, this particular one... I'm trying to remember wh who this one was. I think it might have been a Stampington one. I'm not sure if it was a Pam Carriker or a um, uh, Tracy Batista or Dina Wakely. I'm not sure. I don't think it was Dina though. But I've had them in my little stash for a while. And then I thought I could go really crazy and make something for my daughter and put like Supergirl on it. She's got a heart on her chest. Hey, Sherry, this could be your alter ego. <laughs> you say something about that. <laughs> Come on, paint. Dry. I love her too, Karma. She's from um, Stampatique. She, I think she's called Supergirl. She reminds me of a character in Daria. That's what you're saying, Karma? Very cool. What stamp is that? <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> Again, this is, I believe her name is Supergirl, and she is from a company called Stampotique. I do carry them here um, at, the, at the studio, but I, I don't currently have her in stock, but I do have some of her brothers and sisters. <laughs> so I'm just trying to decide you know I will probably I don't know I want to do some drippage that would be good and I have some buttons buttons are always good the big button <laughs> what's that I'm sorry of course. Are you all set? Okay, guys, I'll be just a sec. That's really neat how you do that. Yeah, because they're all recorded, too, so you can go back and look. I did this one last week. So, um, they tell me, um, so they could do, so you could do the same type of thing like that. I said, that would be a nice Valentine's present for my mother-in-law. And she said, oh, sure. And, uh, so you know, if they do painting and like that, and then you just kind of give them the idea and motivate them to get going on what they think they would like. Yeah. I show them you start off just painting the simple, and you just aim in and you see what you want to see, or or paint. Do you want to paint the top of it? And then you get all the texture like that. Cool. And um, what um, days are you available then? I'm here Tuesday through Saturday. Okay. Um, if you go online to my calendar, you'll see what's already booked. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm back. Wishing your superpower could move things on her table and freak can Oh, Sherry. You want to freak me out? All right. Commercial break. <laughs> ah, Karen likes some young. What's a whole life? To yes, get the whole life to be addicted to art supplies. Have to like that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Concentrate, Sherry. Don't egg Sherry on. She doesn't need any assistance. Trust me. <laughs> anyway, 
I don't know. I'm loving this girl. She's so fun. I could stamp her on and then, uh, yeah, why not? I'm going to stamp her on some tissue paper here. I use the, um, a thick foam sheet to stamp on. I find it so much easier. So here we go. Stamping up the girl. Super girl. Hey, Artie Dar, how you doing? That's stamped nicely. There she is. All right. So I'm just going to cut around her. It, she will take a second to dry, although the tissue paper is probably going to be pretty absorbent, but I'll just heat set her. Oh, cute. Stamped on tissue. Yeah, well, I'm stamping on, um, okay, hold on. I'm gonna, I've got a couple of questions here. Is that a special commercial stamp pad you can buy or just thick foam? It is. Um, fun foam. I don't even bother taking off the <laughs> sheet. I sell it here at the studio, but it's the thick stuff. It's not the thin stuff. It's thick, but um, that's what I like. But anything, you know. Use a old mouse pad, huh? as long as it doesn't have lots of uh, ridges on it. And the, I stamped on the tissue, and the reason why I stamped on the tissue is because this is already textured, right? So if I was to stamp <coughs> my wood stamp on top of this, uh, it would be an uneven image. So my idea is to stamp on the tissue, and then I will adhere her there, the white tissue should dissipate into the background and then I can color her and do what I would like and everything after. Does that help answer your question? Da -da -da. Now I think I might do some drippage on before I add her. Um, so let's see, what do I got? What have I got in my... Oh, Fluorescent pink? <laughs> Fluorescent orange. Oh, good lord, that might be too much. That might freak Sherry out. But I do have some nice purple. This is actually probably very pretty. Um, or I could just do a teal and do it more tone on tone. Hmm. Oh, you're welcome, Jerry. I'm glad that could help. Do 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 do. Um. Okay, so I'm going to let you girls decide since this is an ad hoc thing. Do we want teal on the tealy green background just to make, you know, kind of like a tone on tone drip? Or do we use the permanent violet dark? Purple and teal. Pop of pink. <laughs> pink wasn't an option. <laughs> that fluorescent pink will be bright. Oh, for heaven's sakes, you're all saying pink. You want to see that fluorescent pink? That's what it is. Fluorescent pink. Pink, teal, purple. How many pinks, how many teals, how many purples? One, two, three, four. One, two. Ah, looks like we're, we need to do the fluorescent. Looks like fluorescence beating anything else. All right. 
Well, this is the Golden High Flow. Um, so it is, a, I don't know how many of you have seen it before, but it is a really fun, um, I don't want to say watery, because it's not watery, but it's very thin. Let me see if I can, I have some deli paper here, I'll just show you really quickly. <coughs> Actually, I have a smaller, I kind of liked it, so I have a smaller one too. Cheryl sighing. Honest to God, Cheryl. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> okay, so I need to make sure it's... There, I hear the ball now. Can you hear the ball? See, it's very run... Like, it's like thin and bright and beautiful. Almost looks orange on the screen though. At least my this screen that I've got. But trust me, that is fluorescent pink. <laughs> okay. So <coughs> I'm thinking I want to do it sideways. So that the drips are going over here. So when I put her on the drips will go underneath. Yeah. That's what I want to do. Too bright. I told you it was too bright. Which oh, well, we could add something. Honestly. You guys are, see, I told you. All right, good. I'm taking pink off of the, <laughs> my idea was teal. I'm going to stick with teal. And not because Sherry said so. Look at that. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, 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 wah. I want to save this on something. Well, you guys know I saved my paper towel, so I'm going to put this on some paper towel so I can use that later in a project. Okay. you, Cheryl says. <laughs> we need splatter. I agree with the splatter. These girls are funny. Teal, teal, teal. <laughs> I could splatter it in the pink. That could be fun. Here, hold on. Just going to remove this here. Now I have to be careful not to get paint on my computer this time. <laughs> I've had strict instructions. <laughs> there we go. Ah, uh, Wendy, looks like you and I have the same idea. Okay. And I don't have an apron on me either, so I'm going to cover myself up. I've got a. I'm putting a bib on. <laughs> Sideways drippage. Nice. Thank y'all. All right. I should probably get a little bit more water on my brush, but this is actually doing a nice little speckle. Oh, ho, ho, ho. hello. Hello. Perfect. All right. I am going to show you. Wait till you see the little specks. Told you. Whatever. You'd think you were messy or something. Whatever. <laughs> there you go. Take a peek. Kind of like that. All right. 
get this dried. <laughs> hey Mary, how you doing? <laughs> the only trick is is drying this baby now. Clapping. Everybody's clapping. It's most excellent. Oh, do you want to know? Okay, I have I have a story for you all. Many of you know that I work with the uh, local Royal Canadian Sea Cadet Corps here in Kitchener-Waterloo. And um, on Tuesday night, one of the 16-year-old cadets was looking through her um, lesson plans that she was looking for, like a crossword or something or that to support what she was doing for her class in, in, our, in a book of uh, teaching aids because she was uh, instructing some of the younger cadets. And so she's going through <laughs> the book. I'm going to break out laughing because I can't. Yeah, I'm picturing her as she's doing it. And she's going through the book. And no, this is not my daughter. My daughter isn't this funny. So she goes, <laughs> she's going through the book. And she found it. And she goes, oh, perf. <laughs> and, and I stopped and I whipped my head around. And I said, um, excuse me, did you just say perf? And she looked at me and she giggled. She says, yes, ma'am. And I said, oh, my gosh. I said, perf, perf. Is that kind of like totes? <laughs> and she, started, she just, she almost fell on the floor laughing. She says, oh, my gosh. She says, ma'am, I can't believe you said that, ma'am. Oh, ma'am. <laughs> She's falling down laughing. I said, oh, my gosh. You know what? This is just so totes, perf. So that's been my saying all week, totes perf. This is totes perf. <laughs> oh my God! Wait till she ta wait till she finds out I broadcasted that. She'll pass out. <laughs> oh my gosh! Anyway, it's all good. Thumbs up. <laughs> totes perf. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> All right, I am going to add a little bit of um, of this script stamp, and I'm using the black archival ink. I don't want totes but goats, whatever. Totes per. <laughs> and uh, I'm just going to add a little bit of stamped texture over the hearts and get a little bit of black in there. Just get a little bit of black in there. Totes Oz. <laughs> Honestly, it's been totes perf all week, man. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I think I'm probably ready. Maybe I'll drop. Make sure this is really dry. Hello, Jerry. What purple? What purple? Not tote perf. Tote. Tote says in totally. <laughs> Tote. Perf as in perfect. <laughs> Honest to goodness. Oh, I love it. I love working with kids. It's hysterical. <laughs> I think what's even more hysterical than all that is ma'am. I'm getting used to being called ma'am. That's just not right. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Alrighty. So I am going to put some of this PPA on the back of my Supergirl now. Back, right? Yep. Because it goes right through the uh, tissue. It's hard to tell. Now remember I said this isn't sticky, so I'm going to get a nice good coat and put her down. And then I'm just going to go from the inside and just very lightly 
again with the PPA. Seal her in. And I'm doing it from the center for a reason. I just want to get any bubbles that may be in there out. There we go. <laughs> Totes perk makes more sense. <laughs> I bet it does. <laughs> Do I need some purple? That Every once in a while I look up and Jerry's saying something. Hey Dana. <laughs> All right. Now, I don't want to get this too wet because if you get it too wet I'm, I'm going to risk uh, breaking the tissue. However, this is blending in really nicely. I just want to get my outside edges. I just want to make sure that they're done and down and blended through. And then I will show you and then I will use a little bit of paint just to mask those edges again. But can you see that? It's pretty much disappeared. Pretty cool. So then you have a uh, a nicely stamped image on a textured piece when you do that. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> Totes purse. <laughs> Honest to goodness. Oh. You're, yes, you're great kids, Jerry. <laughs> Yeah, when you, I love using stamps. I had because I had been doing such big things for a while, like big paintings. I was only using stamps for background, but as um, so it really didn't matter if it was a perfect image. But when you're doing something like this, you want to make sure you can see it. Yeah, Karen's cracking herself up. Dana, Karen cracks herself up on a regular basis. It's when I start answering myself that Jen gets really upset and nervous. <laughs> Does deli paper disappear? Very good question, Cheryl. It will, um, it will to a certain point. It will certainly blend in with the background, but you might need to do a little bit more touch up around the edges. Hey, wait! I have deli paper. Yeah, I get it in bulk at a local um, paper distributor um, here in Kitchener Waterloo. It's called GT French. Um, they also have a GT French in the Hamilton area. Um, but any place that sells like bulk paper supplies, like a wholesaler that does like um, packaging, like takeout packaging or is a restaurant supply, will have that. She has red on her mouth. Yeah, sort of. It's red on her chin, actually. <laughs> You're welcome, Cheryl. I'm glad I could answer your question. All right. This is kind of cute. Like I'm still wanting to add like little embellies and stuff. I want to outline these um, hearts a little bit too. I'm thinking I might. Uh, I want to give her a cape. <laughs> Should have given her a cape before I put her down. <laughs> um, um, oh, thanks. You didn't know uh, where to get deli paper. Yes, um, uh, Jillian, they call it scale paper at GT French. Okay. Do I sell the de uh, deli paper? Um, no, not typically. I might have some that if you ask me really nice, I could put something together for you, but um, I don't sell it as a, like, a stock item. The stamp looks like Abby on NCIS. Oh, that's totally cool. I love it. <laughs> and I love her. Okay, so how am I going to do this? Um, I'm thinking maybe I'll take a... Hmm. I was thinking a Faber-Castell pit pen around the edge or maybe even a gelato. Let's do gelato. 
wide gelato over the pit pen because I can reach it right here. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to take some black gelato and I'm going to run that black gelato around the outer edge of these raised hearts. And then I could smudge it. Or I could take water to it, but if I smudge it, especially around the uh, one side, it gives me a nice shading and it'll get in all the texture. See that? So I just rub some on the, uh, um, what is that again? Oh yeah, drywall tape. See? rub some up there that's on my finger and if it's too much then what do I what can I do anybody tell me anyone Bueller 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 it's water soluble right there's my hand Big change to the Oh yeah. I'm just going to take a little bit of it off. And by doing that I'm just kind of, I took a little wet water brush and I'm going to dab some of it off. Because I want that dimension to be there, but I don't want it to look like I've got a black line. Blend that in a little. Okay. Gelato. Gelato, it, you've not heard of gelatos? Gelatos are by Faber Castell. Oh, it's too dark in the corner, so I'll just take it off. Um, they are uh, a water soluble crayon. They look kind of like chapstick. Here's my stash. They look kind of like chapstick. See? And you can rub them on like a crayon and then smudge them if you want or take a water brush to them. They're really great. If you can rub them on stamps and then spritz them for a watercolor effect. Maybe I could try that here. I'm thinking I want to add some white so I don't know. Shall I do it in it? I was going to do it in a stamp but I could do it with this. <laughs> You've got to get some of that. Hi, Phoebe, by the way. Phoebe says she has to get some of that drywall tape. <laughs> uh, make sure you don't get the foil tape with the logo on it. I agree, Dana. No foil tape. This one is uh, different. So I'm just going to just do some white. I'm going to take them off. Put it on, take it off. Welcome to Karen's Friday night video. <laughs> but it should stay in that little the little gaps there. And it does. Oh, and I kinda like it around there. Take a look. See that? Okay. I gotta color the girl. I'm trying to decide how I want to color her. And I wanna. How do I want to color her? Do I just paint her or what? I gotta be done soon then. I gotta get some red on there too. Hmm. 
I suppose I could watercolor her. Let's get the gelatos out and I'll show you how to do it with the gelatos. Not like I don't have a million colors of gelatos. Do I have water in my water brush? No, of course I don't. <laughs> Let me just get some water in my water brush. Purple. Honestly. Okay, I'll add some purple. <laughs> so I've just taken a wet brush and I am just using it to tint her. You see the tint? Doo -doo -doo. So I think I might tint the side of the hearts too, just because they're here. Just got to be careful because I have black gelato on there too, right? So maybe I'll take a little bit more of that off and then go in with <coughs> more of a pure red. Better get some purple in there before Jerry gets a heart attack or something. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Whoa. Hello, water brush. I don't know what else I'm going to do with her today. I'm not feeling her <coughs> right now. I will eventually, but not right this second. I do like her purple. <laughs> <coughs> All right. Can you see it? Purples. She's got purple hair now too, okay, Jerry? <laughs> you see that? I really wish the webcam was working for you. <laughs> All right, what else have I got in here? She's becoming quite the gothy Valentine. My gothy Valentine. What could I, I can play with that a little bit. This is just like screen door. Again, from the hardware store. But, um, might be kind of cute with this whole gothy look that I got going. I'm embracing the goth. I think I might have to. So this is kind of, kind of, go well with the. <clears throat> it's going to go well with the uh, joint tape that's there, but then I'm going to use some of my uh, congee tissue. Lace around the... Yes. I think I need some... I think that's too much of that, but I think I'm going to... I need her to stand on something, right? So, otherwise she's just like floating. <laughs> so where's my PPA? Okay, gelatos go in there. Let's get some PPA down. PPA, PPA, and let's get this kanji. This again, remember I said was a Japanese uh, tissue. This is like a natural fiber, which is really cool. Um, really quite like it. 
Now I had a little itty bitty bit of pinky on my brush from when I, whoop. There we go. That's not going anywhere. I'm going to put some more here from my gelato. And because remember I'm not worrying about the heart, I'm just going to push it in just like I did the white tissue paper. And I'm just going to trim this edge off. I have it really pretty wet. <laughs> I should wait for it to dry. Oh, heck, look at that. And do the loo. Another little itty bitty piece. Maybe I should. What's that? Metal anything? Ooh, metal. The screen would probably look really great under this under the tissue too. You're right. But I don't know if um, it's not adhesive, right? So it's just so much easier to put the the other tape down. Okay, I should really get some of that pink off my brush. Hold on. There we go. That's looking pretty fine. And where's my ribbon? What did I have out here? Ooh, and I have a I have chiogami strips too. What have I got in here? Do I have something? Ooh. I have like an orangey red, which could be fun. These are just little strips of chiagami paper. Ooh, look at that, with your purples and greens that I had left over from uh, some other projects. Ooh, and I like this one. It's one of my faves. Okay. I think I might use that. You want my scissors? Yes, yeah, so they're the smaller Tim Holtz. I did order the larger ones. He's got new scissors on the way. I do like the tonic scissors. I really do. I am going, actually, I'm going to rip it. Natural fibers, right? From nice edge and I had enough uh, I had enough PPA down there that it stuck yay just seal it in there see that You love my fingers, honestly. <laughs> I think it's hysterical. All right, so I'm going to add some. Not sure if the PPA is going to hold the screen. I think I'm going to have to use a regular gel. Remember the soft, like PPA is a soft gel. And it's great for papers and things, but I think this might just have enough. enough of a weight to it that it wouldn't be very great with the I need a stencil on here too I think
So I got. I still have to get my accent color on here, and I'm really looking forward to getting it because it's starting to look a little too bluey to me. <laughs> hey, Miss Kelly. Okay, Kelly. Seriously, Kelly uh, is saying that I am so organized and. She loves how I can find everything so effortlessly. If you could see the area around me, Miss Tanachi, you would laugh hysterically. <laughs> it's not so organized. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. She got me down. Uh, lace. What do I have here? My little gothy girl. Actually, I might just put it right along the bottom there, because by the time I... Right there. That is what I'm going to do. Which color will what be? Purple? <laughs> Was that what you were trying to say? Or my my accent color? <laughs> yeah. So it's coming together. All right. She's looking pretty collagey. I haven't collaged in ages. I'm really liking this. Oh, why not? Maybe I'll paint it too. <laughs> No, 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 no. Whoopsie. Come on down. You're the next contestant. All right, uh, Miss Panacci, I have to say to you and Mario, we were down in Laguna and I thought of you. We were there at night and all I saw was art gallery after art gallery after art gallery on that Highway 1. And. He's drooled. Next year. <laughs> hey, JJ, how you doing? Already there. Can you have it? Maybe. <laughs> Dar, I love you. Dar always wants my stuff. <laughs> Somebody wants my stuff. I love it. See if we can get it going here. I'm liking that it's not perfectly straight, which is why I moved it around. Got to chop that off. Bing. <laughs> no, not purple. I know. Well, purple wouldn't be a very good auction it off. Oh. <laughs> We've got an auction going. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, I still want to pop her out and I still want to accent that, but it's looking pretty fun. Looking pre maybe is a darn good sign. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> okay. Um I'm 
I would love to see a big heart that's embossed around here or something, but only because hearts are kind of where I started, right? But it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to happen. I'm like, what am I doing now? Karen, just stop. She's fun. She's fun. I want a brightener, though. I think I'm going to go get my uh, Witch Miss Panache is not right here. <laughs> my pit pens. Hold up. See if it's dry enough. Oh no, Mary! I hope, I hope your blue circle of death clears up soon. I just really wanted it to be a little darker than what the pit pens were giving me. Sorry, within what the gelatos were giving me. So I have the gelatos coloring the inside, and these can color the outside. Um, don't worry, I'm just keeping your purple there, Jerry. So I'm just kind of going in and shading a little bit. That help? I think it helps her. Do 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 do. I really, really, really wish I could zoom in for you better today, girls. I really, really do. But I think kind of liked that, so I'm going around my circles a little bit. My circles, my heart. She's so cool. Gotta like it. Um, sorry. There we go. She's coming. I think all it really needs is like some words on there, and I'm gonna have to print them off on my printer. Um, a little something. Yeah. I think that's kind of fun. I think also, I'm gonna put the gelatos away. And I think I'm going to get the Chiagami out one more time. If I had a little piece of which I think would be helpful. <laughs> Could you get the of? I didn't finish my sentence. It's totes perf. <laughs> put totes perf on it. Oh, I should put totes perf on it. Oh my gosh. I so should. It's totes perf. That's going to be the title of it on my website too. How's that? Totes perf. <laughs> Actually, it could probably pass for the 16-year-old that said it to me too. <laughs> there, a little bit of red. Just a little hint. 
And I'm almost tempted. Ah, oh, I'm almost tempted, so I might as well try it. Um, I have some sanding paper here, too. I think I might try sanding some of this chiagami over a stencil. See what happens. Hold on. I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. Kind of got carried away there. Hold on. <laughs> Oops. I got carried away. Go figure, girl. No, it's taking away too much, I think. Hmm. So it's taking away too much. Sanding sounds no good for nobody. <laughs> Little Susie had so much fun. Okay. All right. There's my little third little piece there. Actually. I think without I think minus the totes perf, I'm not gonna do anything else to her right now. I'm getting happier with her all the time. Not bad for a winging it on a prayer tonight, huh? <laughs> like honestly. Fill the heart with a slightly sanded piece. I thought about doing that but then I thought it might be too much. Maybe just one heart? I don't know. Hold on. I don't know if you can see. I just kind of um, made an imprint on the paper. I'm not sure if I was close. I was close. A little bit off right there. My hands are getting sticky. Hold on. There. Oh. <laughs> Possible. I could be convinced. Let's put her down. Why not? I could be convinced. There you go. My gosh, did I get through an entire project without a stencil? I don't believe it. That's just not humanly possible. <laughs> I don't think I can do it. In fact, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> How's that for an answer? It's just not me. I'm just looking for my white spray. Get ready to take it off. Yeah, I, well, it's balanced that I was looking for. So that's why I put the other pieces up. I'm totally with you. You got to get the balance right. All right. Nothing like just going for it. Okay. Oh. For heaven's sake. Karen, Karen, Karen. Oh. 
There we go. Can you still see that there? <laughs> and I think... Now, now that I like, but she's embedding again, but that's okay. I'm embedding her again, but I can pull her out again. Just a little bit. I'm going to dry this, add some more. Because by putting something on top of her, I've, of course, embedded her in there again. What spray did I use? I used a combination of uh, uh, fluid acrylic paint and water. It was a 50-50. And the stencil was Mayan calendar. But um, any of those um, circles would work really beautifully. I'm sure that was Mayan calendar. And I think I want her, once I pop her color out again, because I really like, like, that's a little bit more me with the stencil around there. I'll pop her out, put the uh, coat perf on it later. See, I'm going to go back in here and just pop her out one more time. Go back in here and just kind of do 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 do. Kind of liking that. Maybe smudge a little bit so that it's like a real line. Now I'm using my pit pens. But whatever, I used gelato before. There you go. See, she popped again. Best touch now, go girl. I'm with you, hun. I'm with you. A little bit of that. Tied it in. Totes perf. We're all good. <laughs> For those of you who are just logging on, I have a little story about totes perf. You'll have to go back and watch the recording. <laughs> totes perf. Okay, I like. I'm going to give her a little dry, and I think I might even do a little gloss. dry dry just to freak you out I just poured some pouring medium on there and I'm just gonna seal all of this together and give it a little shine Give it almost a little faux and caustic-y look maybe later. I don't know. Maybe I'll embed something in it. <laughs> Listen to me. Maybe I'll just keep going. No, I won't. But I like a little glossy feel to it. Makes me feel better. I like the gloss look for little things like this. Can you see that? Awesome. Definitely totes perf. All right. I wish, as I say, that the, the, the screen was better. I will take a picture for this, and I will post it along with this recording um, tonight before I go to bed because I won't be able to do it tomorrow, and everything is ready. It's not like I have to wait for resin to dry like I did last week. I think she turned out great, too. I think she's really fun, a little Valentine. Like that time of year. 
Oh, I should. Let me just see what I have here. Hold on one sec. Because... I got some new Steve Beatty um, stamps in. I'm not sure if I'll use it on this piece, but for those of you who like to do Valentine's Day stuff, take a look. Valentine, your heart is in the right place, right next to mine. You shine, Valentine. Happy Heart Day. Thinking of you throughout the year. Dear Valentine, would you mind terribly if I love you even more than I already do? <laughs> love it. It pleases me so much to know a person as special as you. Ah, Isn't that awesome? <laughs> All right. <coughs> these, I, I only got like a couple of these in the studio because Valentine's Day is just right around the corner, but I think these are fantastic. And if you haven't written your Valentine's yet, drop on by because like they're so cute but anyway awesome so my little totes purse girl and yes Phoebe either that or uh, give me a call tomorrow and I'll let you, and I'll let you know <laughs> it's totally perfect it's totes purse <laughs> okay <laughs> I think that's awesome now we do have a little bit of a delay that's for you yes Sherry <laughs> <laughs> yes, let me guess, because I've got a delay. You're the um, it pleases me so much to know a person as special as you. <laughs> you're funny. Anyway, they're from the Words to the Rescue um, series from Steve Fady. Uh, some of you might know his books. If you're a scrapbooker, you mo probably most certainly know his books. He's got great uh, quotes and stuff for um, for cards and scrapbookers. There you go. So I'm just going to let that dry and give her a go. Anyway, thank you so much, everybody, for joining me. And as I say, I will post this on my website, thearthousestudio.ca. And of course, I will upload this to YouTube as well and uh, post it on the blog. Okay? Join us over on Facebook as well because it's, uh, you know, it's everywhere. We'll tweet it, you know, it's all there. <laughs> Awesome. Thanks, Kelly. You have a great weekend, too. Thank you again, for everybody, for joining me. It's so lovely to see you every week. Um, and uh, I'm glad something came together for you here. I'm just glad to create. It was fun just to create for the sake of creating. And that's what it's all about, isn't it, everyone? All right. Have a fantastic evening, and we'll see you all next week. Bye, guys. <laughs>